Well, from now until the middle part of March, the pinball collection of Warren's Rob Burke will be on display at the Trumbull County branch of the Butler Institute of American Arts. An interesting collection. And joining us tonight is the collector himself, Rob Burke. Thanks for joining us. Uh, when did this start and why did this start? Well, I have to blame my dad for that. Uh, growing up, we always went to Florida and there I got uh, to see arcades and arcades and arcades and pinball machines everywhere. And back when I was growing up in the 60s, that's all they had was pinball. No video, right, just right. pinballs. Now, when did, you, when did you get your first one? Well, when I was very, very young, uh, actually, as long as I remember, five years old, there was a machine in the basement of our house. Okay. So it was there. I played it, but uh, not until I went to college that I got reintroduced to pinball to the point where I was obsessed with it. Okay. All right, let's go through some of the collection. Here, kind of explain what we're looking like here. Uh, let's start with the first picture. What are we looking at here? Well, we had some uh, fans come to the museum, and, and, and I had them gather around the machine there. This game was called Knockout, and it's, it's a fun game because the graphics was made by Roy Parker, and a lot of his, his piece will be shown there at the museum. But he's very well known among the collectors. And uh, this is another piece called Majorettes. Majorettes was a great game because in certain states, they didn't allow free games. They only okay. allowed free balls. So that game was made for that reason, that when you get a high score, you'd receive a free ball. This is one of your favorites, isn't it? Yeah, I love the artwork of this. This is a 60s styling. It was an experiment they made. Back in the time, there was people drinking in bars. They had a place to put the drink on the shelf of the bar. You could also, there was also a place to put your cigarette. So it was very unique styling. It lasted for a very short time, and okay. they, it wasn't accepted. This is some more pieces at the Butler. It just shows some of the artwork of the, of the 40s. Uh, this was a game made by Keeney and Genko, who were manufacturers at the time. But it's just to show a little bit of a variation of the type of artwork that you'll see when you go to the Butler. I think there's one more, if I'm not correct. Yes. I love this one here because it shows a little bit uh, for the young people and, and for the older folks. Uh, uh, this, well, this doll, we'll call it, this good-looking baby sitting there in the <laughs> fire. So the guys of that time, this was the 50s, would see that. Perhaps that attracted them to play this game. And there's also some fairy tale uh, yeah. figures of some kid for the kids. How'd you get contacted by the butler? How'd the butler ever get involved in this? Well, I, I know Luzona through uh, just being in, in this area. And I mentioned to him, I said, you know, this might be a fun piece of artwork to show to people, give them an idea what artwork is all mm -hmm. about. And there's very types of pieces they, they can see there. All right, let me give you the information and the details on what is going to be happening. This is the American Binball, Pinball Collection by Rob Burke. It takes place from now. It actually opened this past weekend. It's open until March 16th at the Butler Institute of American Art on East Market Street in Holland. It's the Trumbull County branch. Now, I understand that in March, you're going to have one of the artists that does pinball machines right. come and visit. Is that correct? So this is, this is a real uh, great opportunity for people to meet an actual artist. And he's also a pinball designer, John Papaduke. And he's still working today and making games. And uh, it's a real novel opportunity for people to meet him and see what it's all about. You do a pinball expo too, don't you? Yeah, this is for pinball collectors that are obsessed like I am with this <laughs> stuff. It's in Chicago. This will be our 30th anniversary. And uh, we're really looking forward to it. We tour a pinball factory. And anyone with any interest in pinball can come there and have a great time. All right, Rob Burke, thanks a lot. Once Thank again, you. if you get a chance, check it out. It's at the Trumbull County branch in Holland of the Butler Institute of American Art.